Hello everybody, welcome you all uh, to the Mount of Olives service. Uh, word that which God has revealed to you, I'm going to bring to you. Before that, I welcome you all on every Wednesday. We have this worship happening at 9.30 p.m. And if you're not a part of any gathering and you really want to um, be in a part of a fellowship, you can join in 9.30 and enjoy uh, the worship and also the word that will be given. Thank you for that. And those of you who are listening to this first time, God richly bless you. God is ready to speak with you. And before that, I'd like to pray and then lean into the word. All eyes be closed and we're going to pray. Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, thank you for this wonderful time given. Lord, your presence is endless. Lord, your presence does not have time. It's not limited by time. Lord, the people, wherever they're listening to this word from, Lord, let your endless presence, your timeless presence, grip them with your love, God. Thank you for you filling them with their glorious riches as they're going to listen to the word. Let the word strengthen them, encourage them to be more faithful, O God, Jesus Christ, to you and everything that which you are prepared for them. Thank you for you doing that, to you being the glory, honor, and all the mighty and matchless praise. In Jesus' name we said, Amen. Amen. This word is not only for the people who are listening through live and also there are people seated here. This word is for everybody. The spring and God revealing this word to everybody and I'm going to read that out and then I'm going to preach. We turn our Bibles to 2 Kings and ch chapter 2 and verse 19. 2 Kings chapter 2 and verse 19. Let me read that out for you. The people of the city said to Elisha, Look, our Lord, this town is well situated, as you can see, but the water is bad and the land is unproductive. Here you see in the Bible, Elisha, a prophet of God, he's there in this place called Jericho. He had a master and his name is Elijah. Elijah was taken up by God. And as he comes down, he's coming down and there is a river. He splits the river just like how Elijah did it. And he's coming down and all the people who are down there, they're asking Elisha, where is Elijah? Maybe the Spirit of the Lord has taken him and placed him on top of some mountain. Or the Spirit of the Lord has placed him somewhere that which nobody can find. Let us go in search because there are 50 men who are capable of going and finding. Elisha said, no, 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 no. Let's not go and find the, uh, Elijah because Elijah was taken up to heaven. But Elisha was not giving the clear instruction to them. He's not telling. He's only saying, no, don't go in search. But these people insisted and they said, no, no, no. We are going to go in search of Elisha. So Elijah said, all right, you can go and search. They won't search for about, the Bible says, here, in verse 17, it says this way. Thank you, Jesus. But they persisted until he was too embarrassed to refuse. So he said, send them. And they sent 50 men who searched for three days, it says here in the Bible, in the 17th verse. Each, they searched Elijah, Elijah for three days, but they never found Elijah. And then in this we understood that the word that Elisha spoke had power and they need to they didn't uh, abide by it. Now Elisha's first and foremost miracle that which is which he performed today we are going to learn that he proved that he was a man of God. What was that miracle? There was this place called Jericho and Jericho was a place that was beautiful. It is a place where people can go for vacation. It is a place where people can go and enjoy the greenery and the beauty of the waters. And it's that's it's that kind of a place. It's a place where people can go for a vacation. Jericho was that kind of a place. But unfortunately the whole place looked beautiful but the lands were not productive the waters were were, were sour and it's not good for for, for 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 the for the land and all the land and all the fertility of the land was sucked by the water the water was 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 poisonous we see many people drank from that water and they died and the and one of the people of that place they came down to elisha and said elisha we are suffering that we don't have this proper water to drink and the land 
plants have become not productive at all and now we don't know what to do in our lives we have a job that god has given to us we have projects that we are handed over and we have certain kinds of responsibility that god gives to us but in that responsibility if you want to be productive if the land has to produce good yield what is that which is needed is very important here is i'm going to go further where i'm going to go further through the word a very important thing that which we need to have is faith faith is the big seed for your productivity how you are working are you working with the help of jesus that is faith when you are working everything that which you are doing with the help of the spirit of god you will be productive here you see that the people the people of the city called jericho they were not working with the help of god they tried to work with their own strength they tried to bring ideas with their own their, their own ideas they tried to implement all of that by themselves all their strength and the whole city of jericho looked beautiful but the people were dying the job that god has given to you is beautiful the talent that god has given to you is beautiful the gift that god has given to you is beautiful but is it productive is it yielding blessings for you are you receiving something out of it if the bible says that the master gave one talent to one two to the other and five to the other the bible says the one made it to the two the two made it four and 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 the and, and the people who ever had it multiplied whatever that they had but one of the person he never multiplied the talent that which god gave there was no productivity in him no productivity the man who received a talent he dug the talent and kept it under the ground and he started to rot and everybody else who received the talent they multiplied because they received the gift from god and they were in god and they became productive the gift that god gives to you if you are away from god it's not going to be productive in your life never think what god has given to you will sustain and be with you forever no 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 until you are in faith and in connection with god that gift will yield blessing for you or else the job that you are in will turn out to be a curse the project that you are in will turn out to be a project of failure or the business that you are in will turn out to be failure because you are not in faith you are outside faith and you are trying to receive something that is inside faith productivity in you have to have faith productivity comes through faith here elisha was looking at this place full of what sour water and poisonous water and the whole place was dry and there was no good yield people didn't have food to eat and these people come out and request elisha do something elisha said come on bring a new bowl elisha says bring a new bowl when you go to god empty yourself and god will make you you a new person new new grace every day receives a new he gives you a new grace faith renews a person every day he he makes you new if you're not becoming new if you are the same person inside and outside that is not faith you're not growing in faith my dear brother but if you are really going in faith you are from the inside and the outside there is a change in you there is a transformation that is happening elisha said he did not say bring a used bowl he didn't say bring any other bowl he said bring me a new bowl and then he said that bring some salt with that and they bought some salt and the bible says this elisha man filled with the spirit with faith he went to the stream of water as just a small stream of water and he sprinkled that salt in the water and the water became beautiful sweet mara became sweet the life that which all the land that was unproductive became productive the bible says the reason here is a man filled with the spirit when he entered into a land that was unproductive a man that is full of god's anointing when he entered into a place that is full of dryness god transformed that place you know why because a man who's carrying the spirit of god will carry productivity in his life he will always produce something he'll multiply he will grow multiplication is through faith without faith you cannot grow my dear brothers and sisters you can have faith but be being in faith is important continuing in faith is important you believe in jesus that is faith you believe that the holy spirit can do over your life yes that is faith but you have to be in that you have to be in that path you cannot be in the world and then say i am in faith you're not in faith you have faith 
Being in faith is important. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can have a little bit of faith, my dear brothers and sisters. You can have that. You can have that. And you can ask the mountain to move. It is going to move. God can do that. But being in faith will make you a person which is productive. Anywhere you go, you will be productive. Anywhere you go, you will multiply. It's important to being in the path of God. Elisha, full of God's presence. The whole city was beautiful. The whole city was wonderful. But the people were dying. The people were dying. Your whole life around you might seem beautiful. Everything is looking like, ah, oh, wow, this is nice. Ah, oh, this is nice. Oh, the church is nice. Oh, this person is nice. That is nice. And you, everything around the world might look beautiful. But inside you, if you don't have faith... You are dying. You are dying. You can go to Paris. You can go to all beautiful places and visit all the places. But I tell you, is there life in that place? You can go to a desert, but there can be life there. Because the Bible says, from even through the desert, the Lord can make streams of waters flow. Hallelujah. It's important for you to understand that you are the land of God. You can never be unproductive. Today, the demon that is making your life unproductive in the name of Jesus is breaking that. That unproductivity is going to leave. Everything that which you do will yield blessings in the name of Jesus. Because you're not only a person who believes that Jesus can do. You're a person who is following Jesus Christ. You're not only believing Jesus. You believe in Jesus Christ. You believe in the work that he can do over your life you believe in the spirit that is given to you you believe that he can do it the faith in him is important my dear people he bought the bowl he put the salt not outside he put the salt inside the bowl you are that bowl my dear brothers and the salt is faith when you have faith in inside of you working anywhere you go any land you go any streams of you that you go will turn out to become beautiful today in the name of Jesus you are the productive land of God who, which demon is coming down and telling you that you can never be productive? Which demon is coming down and telling you your hands are cursed? Which demon is coming and telling you your business is cursed? Your life is cursed? Your future is cursed? God is telling to you the land was dry and unproductive and the waters were poisonous and not good to drink. But the Lord changed it through a prophet named Elisha. Today Jesus is going to come down in that place. Jesus is going to come down and sprinkle that water because Jesus said, Ye are the salt to the world. You are the the salt to the world. You are the productive person today in the name of Jesus. Unproductivity is out of you. Amen. Out of you today in the name of Jesus. Wherever you go, blessing should come to you. You don't go in search. The blessing should come in search of you. Hallelujah. This is what the Bible says. People came in search of Jesus from every look and corner. People came in search of Solomon's wisdom from all north, south, and east, and west. People came to listen to Solomon's wisdom because he was productive. Productivity comes through faith. You should have faith. Hallelujah. Elisha was a man who has the spirit. He was not only having faith, he was walking in faith. He was walking in faith. Hallelujah. Today in your life, walk in faith. Not only talk, but walk what you talk through faith. Hallelujah. You read the word, follow the word. I challenge you, you will be productive. You read the word, it's asking you to do something, do it. You know it's wrong, just get rid of it. I tell you, you will be productive. You will be productive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For Elisha never asked, give me the old bowl or some used bowl. He said, I want a brand new bowl. I want to put some salt in that and I'm going to bring life where there is no life. The whole city of Jericho was blessed, my dear people. You have a small imagination about yourself. You're thinking, I want to be a blessing to my family. In front of my friends, I want to be a blessing. In front of my family, God should lift me up. In front of all my church, my God should lift me up. That's a very small thing. God here is telling he lifted Elisha up in the front of all the city. He wants you to he wants to lift you up in, not only in front of your family. He does not want to prove that he's God above everything in your life or not only in, to you and to your family. He wants to do it in a great big portion. The whole city of Jericho enjoyed the blessing. 
that was there inside Elisha. In your life, it's not what you do. It's not um, uh, the, the plan that you have. It's very important for you to understand. It's how you do. If you're doing it in faith, it will reward you. If you're doing it with frustration and irritation, that will not bless. It will not be productive. But if you are doing it in faith, I'm doing it for God. I'm doing this so God might be honored by my ways. Hallelujah. In everything that you do, give glory to God. Elisha glorified God. All the people came to him, but he glorified God. Today in your life, I tell you, let the dryness start to flourish. Not only have faith, but walk in faith. Walk in faith, my dear people. It will reward you. Your unproductive life will become a blessing. You'll become productive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't simply work hard. Don't simply work hard. Working hard is slavery. Working in faith is freedom. It's freedom. Working hard is it's 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 it'll bring you some blessing in your way. You will enjoy it. You'll enjoy that whatever that you worked hard, that is great. But walking in faith and doing things in faith will reward you. You'll receive great deal of blessing. The whole city of Jericho was blessed because of this act of Elisha. And it was an act of faith because he walked in faith and because he had faith. Hallelujah. We are still in first step of having faith. Why don't we walk the faith? Why don't we speak faith? And God will do wonders. Today, into your unproductivity, you not only receive faith through the word, and not only do you walk it, after you walk it, talk. Many people say, without interview, I want job. It's highly impossible. Have faith that God will give you a job. Then have faith that I have to go in faith and I have to go attend the interview. Then that will reward you. Have faith. Be in faith. And talk faith. And it will reward you today. In the name of Jesus, you are the salt to the world. Which demon, no darkness up above or beneath can ever come and put your life down. Because Jesus Christ said that and in the book of John, it's written very clearly that Jesus Christ came in the fullness of God's grace to receive what? To give you what? Blessings after blessings, the Bible says. Blessings after blessings. In your life, let nobody, not your parents, not your friends, not your family, let them never come and tell you that you can never be a blessing. You can receive a blessing and that blessing might fade away. But when you walk in faith, I tell you, my dear people, you will receive blessings after blessings. Productivity and productivity and productivity. You will produce and produce and produce. Your hands will produce. The Bible says, where whatever hands, wherever Joseph laid his hands, it multiplied. Everything that you which is work of his hands multiplied. If it happened then, it can happen now in your life. Just believe it today in the name of Jesus and walk what you believe. Amen. Hallelujah. I'll give a small example. I know one sister and uh, that sister beautifully she sings songs and she worships God and does all of that. But when she goes and meets her friends, she contradicts what she believes. She contradicts what she believes. She says, no, Jesus is, is, she believes that Jesus is God, but she's contradicting, she's making fun about Jesus. They're having a fun conversation about Jesus because you're not representing Jesus. You feel ashamed. You feel the world is much more cooler. There's two sides to the story. You, there is a faith that you're having, but you're not walking it. You are saying, talking something else in the world. Stop something that is away from faith. Stop something that is dragging you away from God today. And God is telling to you, you will be productive. That is God's promise through the Bible. Productivity is God's promise. It's simply he will not make you, make you sit in one place. He will make sure that you will be blessed. Surely you'll go through a time of test. Your faith will all, God will test it. 
but you will come out victorious because you are walking in the faith of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the word that the Lord revealed to your people that it's important for you not only to have faith but to walk in it and talk about it. Represent it. Stand for it. Amen. People should know that you are a child of God. Don't be hesitant. Amen. God richly bless you. Today I pray that every unproductivity, every dryness over your finances and the health healing over the land. It's called healing over the land. The whole passage. Today, healing is coming your way. Healing in your finances. It needs, it needs a healing, not only deliverance. It needs a healing. And God is wanting you to receive it. Mute people say, bless me, God, bless me. Man, God is ready to give you. He's ready to give you, but your hands are dirty and unclean to receiving his holy blessings. Make it clean and you'll have your blessings in your hands. Make it clean. Hallelujah. Cleanse yourself today and God will make sure your blessings will be at your hand. All eyes be closed and we're going to receive the word and the blessing that which he revealed through the word. Father in heaven, Lord, I bring in all the people today. All the people are going to listen to this word. The city of Jericho. There was dryness. People died. Unproductivity in the land. But a lot. You see faith can do wonders. Walking in faith. Acts of faith. Can change the situation today God. People who are here not only believe that you can do but let them act like they can. you can do. Let them walk like you can do. Thank you for you doing that, I God. When you, the reason that Abraham is called the father of faith is because not only did he have faith that you spoke to him, but he walked to the promised land. He left his father's household and he went to the promised land. And that rewarded to him as righteousness. Today, Lord, credit it to him. Thank you. I bless all the people in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let them receive the productivity that comes through faith. There are people who are productive through hard work and, and knowledge, but today that productivity which comes through faith is greater, is greater, God. Release that grace over people so they may walk in that and receive the blessings from the Almighty. Thank you for you doing that, I God. Honor them and bless them. To you being the glory, honor, and all the mighty and matchless praise. In Jesus' most holy and precious name, we prayed and we received. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. 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 Productivity in faith. There is productivity in hard work productivity in many things of this world but productivity and faith you know how that works that's that's different that's a different story amen and that story is written for you receive it god richly bless you and um, um, all that I, I'd, I'd like to tell you is this that when you walk in faith you will be a person who multiplies you will never be empty you will multiply God richly bless you. I'll go with the benediction and give bless you with this word yet again. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord bless you and keep you and give you the productivity in faith. May the grace of the Father, the love of Jesus, the sweet aroma of the Holy Spirit of God may it rest and abide from now and forevermore in your lives. Amen, amen, amen. God richly bless you. You have a wonderful, blessed time. Take care. Bye-bye.